This week on Pull House Bike Pop Weekend Getaways, we're on our fort front porch with an apple crisp. Stick around. Well, we're on our front porch this weekend. Not because the weather's bad. No, we, we just, just don't have anything planned until next end month, of month, yeah. end of March. So I guess we need to continue our "Where in the World Are the Monktons Going?" vacation. Yeah, because we're going to be doing a drawing. And as of last week, we're going to be doing a drawing coming up. So uh, we're going to be put it in last week's. So we're going to put it another one this weekend. Uh, video a secret what little title. What you need to yep. do is watch for it'll be anywhere. It could be in his hair, could be in my hair on my shirt. But somewhere during the video. Somewhere yep. during the video we will reveal where we're going. Where we're, what the theme is yes. of our summer vacation. Yep. We'll tell you then. It is historic. Yep. And, and we have Kansas, Colorado, and New Mexico involved. Yeah. So, so now be sure to email it to. Don't put it on Facebook. Yeah, we don't want everybody to know. Don't put it on YouTube. Put your first and last, in the, first name, last initial, and email it to where? P. P. Pole House Black Pots, all one word, all lowercase, at gmail.com. Okay. And then we'll do the drawing on the 5th and then the following Sunday. Uh, We'll let you everybody know which should be the 12th yes. of March. So it so won't then, be in the 5th video, and the winning, it'll be in the 12th The winner video. of the drawing will get a free cookbook. Yeah, so. So, so today we're doing another recipe. we got a few That's left. That's one of your favorites. Yep, out of that cookbook. Yes. And that is... Apple crisp. Apple crisp. Yes. That's easy. Uh, it's not very hard to do. No. So We already got a lot of pre-mixed stuff yeah, kind of divvied up to make it easier. Uh, to do this video. So, so we'll be right back once we regroup. Wade wanted me to do this part and then he'll do the bake. It's gonna be a very short video, really. So we're gonna start off with uh oh cup and a half of brown sugar. A cup of oats. And we're using old fashioned yes. oats. We right. like our crisp to look like it has oats on it. I'm having a problem with all kinds of openings. And a cup of flour. It's a glorious day out here. Yeah, for February, middle of February. Yes. It's uh, crazy. And then we're going to have a teaspoon of cinnamon. No, half, two, spe two teaspoons of cinnamon. And a one. Half, one teaspoon of nutmeg. And if you don't like nutmeg, you can leave it out. Or if you like cloves or something like that instead, of course, by all means, add it. Yes, or you could do allspice or whatever you like. any of them. Yeah, whatever your favorite. Or you could even use pumpkin pie spice or apple pie spice. Kind of up to you. Change it up yep. a little bit the way you like it. Or if you want more, you can add more spices to it. Make okay. it pretty good. Then to this, we're adding, what was it, eight tablespoons? It's about 10 because it's two-thirds of a cup. So it's about 10 of tablespoons. Of butter, salted yeah. butter. Yeah. If you don't use salted butter, then you're going to have to add salt. Yeah, probably a half a teaspoon or something like that, maybe. Got to have a little bit of that salt in there to kind of bring out the flavors. And then you just... Mix it up until it, it looks like pebbles, pretty much. Yeah. You may find that you need to use your fingers for part of this to get it down in there. Because you want it, you want that butter to look 
All incorporated. You don't want any big old clumps of butter. And that looks about good enough. Looks good to me. So, we're going to set this aside. We're going to regroup and Wade's going to come up and start to bake, believe it or not. Yeah, I'm going to get your going. Apples, once you got the apples done and you got this all mixed up, you're ready to bake. Okay, now, charcoal is almost ready, so I'm going to use a 12-inch Dutch oven and lay it out of the way. And I've kind of lightly sprayed it, just around the edges especially, so we don't get... How in. come you're not lining it? Well, it's, it's not like you can pull the whole thing out to serve it, so you almost have to serve it in here. And when you scoop it in, we try to line it, and it ends up just making a mess with parchment paper or foil, either one. It's kind of a hard to scoop out. You without, wind up eating it. Yeah, you line, so it's just hard to do. So you just gotta clean it up, one of them things. Now, we're using three pounds of Granny Smith apple, or some type of a good baking apple, like a Jonathan or something. And what kind of, what Dutch oven are you using? This is a shallow, regular size, 12 inch, which is also a six quart. And we peeled, I got a little piece of apple core in there. Uh, we took the apples, peeled them, cored them, and then sliced them thin. And now we're gonna put them level into the bottom. And the thing is, we did this about half an hour ago. So the nice thing, we put it in water in a nice tub and then put a fair amount, probably a couple of tablespoons at least, of lemon juice in there. And then kind of put the lid on to keep the oxygen off the top and that'll keep your apples from turning dark for a good while. But one thing you need to make sure you do is you have a good drainer and drain off most all the water you can for a couple of minutes because you don't need that extra water in there. Now, uh, we got all the crumbly mix that Angel made a few minutes ago. And we, so all we gotta do is just evenly spread this over the top. So we'll kind of spread it out. So like I say, it's a pretty easy recipe. Put it all in there. And I'll kind of evenly spread what I got. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to kind of a nice even coat if you can on top. There we go. That's kind of a crumb, kind of a crumb topping if you would put it on on something else, but it sure is good. Okay, that's it. Now, see here, charcoal is ready. So, let me get my gloves. I'm right here, Andy. And let me regroup real quick and uh, give the charcoal a couple more minutes. We'll be right back. Okay, charcoal's ready. So, put my lid back on. Get my tongs. Dump our charcoal out. We're doing a normal bake, about 350. So we're gonna do, uh, let me get this out of the way here. We're doing 30 pieces of charcoal to start with. And that means 10 on bottom, 20 on top for normal baking. So we'll just do a nice, now, do you think you're going to have to replenish? Probably, I think we might go ahead and do it because it takes a good while to get apples to get good and done. One thing that I really dislike when any type of a baked apple dish is crunchy apples in there. Apples either got to be raw or they got to be, to me, fully cooked. And you can either leave your apple peels if they're nice on. Yeah, you certainly could. Sure. Now, we want to put a nice even coat, coating of your checkerboard checkerboard color, on right? top. And we'll put about four in the middle. And then we'll put another, basically a good ring around the outside. And that'll pretty much give us close enough to a checkerboard. Here. It's a nice even layer that gives us about as even as a cooking process we can. We're still going to rotate our Dutch oven which helps keep an even cookie. And since it's being 
probably be closer to a 45 to 50 minute cook time to get your apples getting done. We will probably go ahead and uh, replace the coals probably about 30 minutes. So we'll start a few more coals uh, after uh, that and get them on about 30 minute time. That'll keep our heat at that 350. But you get much, start getting about, about 40 minutes, you start losing heat. So we want to put our coals, we plant our coals somewhere between 30 and 40 minutes of cook time. So we'll be back and we're going to rotate probably in about 15 minutes. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes and I got a second bunch of charcoal that's about ready. And we did about half what we normally did. So I started with 30 pieces, so I did 15 more. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate the oven. Then we're gonna add our 15 more charcoal. So like always, one third turn with the whole thing and then a the third return back the other direction with our lid, and now we got the tongs out. I dump out our 15 charcoal. Okay, and we'll put again one third, two thirds. So we'll put maybe about uh, five on the bottom. And ten on top, and we're just gonna. Three, put them in amongst our ones that are already on there. Let this keep cooking. All right, we'll come back in about another 15 minutes and probably check and see if the uh, apples are done and everything's kind of lightly browned on top. So we'll be back. Well, it's been I smell cooking. It. Yep, it's been cooking about 50 minutes, so it should probably be done. So, best way to tell should be brown on top, and then Angel's gonna tick with a fork and see if the better go that apples. Way. Yeah, see if the apples are tender and kind of poke, poke them with a little fork. Oh man, wish there was smell o vision. Oh yeah, them are done. Oh, and it's okay. so party. All right. I wouldn't put that back on there. Well, I'm gonna take it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off the charcoal. We're gonna and, have to yeah. let this rest a minute. Yep, yeah, I'll put the. Because this over here. Right now, it's gonna be a lip burn. And take it off of here, and we'll just let it rest off the heat for a few minutes. Yeah, it'd be a lip burn. So we'll let it rest for probably a good ten minutes when it's not quite so hot. That's good. I we'll got come it. back and then we'll eat it. Three sample it. Yum, yum, yum. All right, we'll be back. Well, hey, it's been about 10 minutes. I'm ready to try Let's some. Let's get to taste it. I believe in having dessert before dinner. Here's yours. We dish? Yeah, you dish. I'll dish. You get all your goodie there. Yeah, I get all my goodie. There, that's good. And let's see. Just one for you. Fine. He's left the lid down here. I'm afraid I'm going to brand myself on it. It's good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Man, it, it smells good, good too. too. It's still steaming hot. Mm. 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 
gonna burn me. It isn't. It's not that hot. Although you can see steam running off the hot. Mmm. Good Still stuff. got tartness from the apples. Yep. You gotta have a good bacon apple. But you can tell they're done. They're not. You know, when you get half cooked. Kind of crunchy, chewy, yeah. Well, it's kind of like half cooked potatoes, in yeah, my the, opinion. Yeah, the half cooked potato and half cooked apple are probably the worst two things you can. You got to be completely done people, on raw. <laughs> there are some people that like them just barely heated through apples, but I'm not one of them. No, no. So, mm. yeah, this is a great dish. A little, quite a bit easier than making an apple pie. Yeah. Almost, in its own way, it's ever been as good as a pie. Yeah. But you like apple pie better. I like well, just a little bit better. This is pretty darn good. Now, now, the best way to serve this is with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Or a whipped topping. Yeah, or a cool whip or a whip, whipping cream on top. And it's you know, you too. don't, if you don't like apples, try some cherry. You can make your own cherry filling. Yeah, or, you can do, uh, I've seen people do uh, like rhubarb or strawberry rhubarb or something like that. You yeah. can do a crisp or something like that. There's a lot of different things. You could put even do, I guess, pears if you like pears. Yeah. There's a lot of things. It would be good. Not like any this. vegetable, or a vegetable, any fruit. Now I wouldn't do a vegetable. I don't think, I think it'd be very good. So. Unless it's tomatoes. <clears throat> yeah. But so, uh, yep. Hope you like this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. That's a like. Yep. Share us on Facebook or Instagram. Or if you're like our daughter and have 15 different social sites, sites, go ahead and share them on share there. Share us yep. on there too. Um, Don't forget to subscribe. Yep, subscribing does us a lot of good. And give us a comment if you've ever made a fruit crisp, what you use. Yeah, all right. Yep, that'll be it for this week. Yep. Thanks for so watching. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.